Hey everyone, Amber Duggar here. Thanks so much for being here. If you're new here, welcome. This is a community where we focus on empowered financial strategies and truly balancing the masculine and feminine sides of money. I am the founder of Profit for Keeps and it's a framework that helps you do just that. And so today I wanna to talk about um, just some practices that I do to remain in an empowered state when it comes to utilizing abundance and money. There's a little plane right above me, so if you can hear that, I apologize. <laughs> um, I almost want to just wait for it to go over. <clears throat> okay, so I want to share some strategies that I have used to really feel at peace when it comes to money, uh, to navigate times when revenue has been lower, to navigate times when uh, you know, turbulence has occurred and we're learning the lessons. I'm sure we've all been there. It, your business is not meant to go up and up and up and up. It's meant to have a natural cycle. And the reason for that is that balance, that, that desire for everything to be in balance. That's what the universe really wants is everything to be in balance. So if we're constantly going up, then there's a, there's going to be some type of rebalancing that occurs. And so it's much more important to be prepared, but not anticipate. That's the first thing. Be prepared, but not anticipate. So why, why do we want to be prepared? We want to be prepared because there's always, always things that come through that we may not necessarily desire. But that's because there's the law of opposites. The law of opposites says that whenever we're calling something in good, we're gonna call in something bad. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just gives us the opportunity to be aware that we are doing the right thing when we see something bad or bad, negative, right? But the more important thing is having preparation so that we can weather that turbulence so that we can get back on track of what feels really good to us. So one of the ways that we do that is through Profit for Keeps, our foundational two to six month buffer. That is a way to be prepared. And that's more of a masculine energy, right? Being prepared, actually using the practical system to make that happen. But from a feminine perspective, I find that when I'm waking up in the morning, the very first thing that I do before I even open my eyes is I connect with my heart. I connect with that feeling of love. I connect with what I personally call source. You can call it spirit, God, guidance, whatever you wanna call it. And I connect with that first thing and I just feel it. And I use my heart to then hear what I'm meant to do that day. So this is really important. It's not thinking what do I need to do that day. It's first tapping into my heart and sitting with my heart. And it sounds weird, right? Like the first time I tried doing this, I just thought, what am I doing here? But the more you do this, the more it will absolutely spontaneously surprise you because what will happen is you'll start to get guidance. You'll start to hear, you may hear, you may feel, you may see something, you will, you will, it will happen. It happens for all of us if we allow it. And once I do that, then I get a really clear picture of, oh, okay, so these are definitely things that I want to make sure I'm doing today. I also make a conscious effort to maintain that heart connection throughout the day. Our brain absolutely is going to wander if we do not stay connected to the heart. And once we start to wander and we don't have peace in our heart, we end up having creating overwhelm, anxiety, and really it's all because we are thinking about everything versus listening to our heart. So this may sound a little like, okay, Amber, how am I supposed to connect with my heart? Like I have things I have to do and I'm thinking about those things. I totally understand. I'm gonna give you a solid example. So I am in the middle of launching our Profit for Keeps coaching certification. And we have over a hundred people on the interest list. And I was thinking, how am I going to connect with a hundred people uh, in a matter of two weeks? And then I thought, no, you know what? There must be a different way because I only have so many blocks of time and there must be another way. 
And so I did exactly what I'm sharing with you. I laid down, I connected with my heart. I felt that, that peace and I took some deep breaths and I just allowed whatever was gonna come in to come in. And about three minutes later, I saw myself connecting with these beautiful, beautiful souls and talking with them and laughing with them. And I was thinking, oh, I use Voxer all the time. <laughs> That's so great. I can connect with people over Voxer and then we can answer a lot of the questions there. And then if they feel called that they really wanna have a conversation, I have lots of time for that. And it's not about what we think it has to be and what we've done before, but more about what is the true purpose? What is the intention? And the intention is to connect with as many hearts as possible in a day and to share that love with those hearts every day, right? So when we do that, we then all of a sudden experience quantum leaps within a block of time. Now all of a sudden, instead of having to spend countless calls after call after call, I can now answer the majority, maybe up to even 80 or even 100% of the questions over Voxer, and then the remaining 20% can be done on a call or the remaining 20% can be done through other ways, but it's, it's so different than what I was originally planning to do. So this is just a solid example. So when it comes to finances or running your business, there are so many opportunities to adjust and to look at the core reason behind why you're spending the money because money is energy just like anything else and it's a neutral energy and so when we're using money it's truly just a resource to allow us to continue to move things you've heard the karmic cycle of money so it's not about hoarding it keeping it guarding it because when you decide that you have something that means that you don't have everything else when you are looking at i have nothing therefore i have everything there's a huge shift in your abundance mindset. I, I don't even like to call it mindset. I call it heart set because it's all here. Our brain is to be able to interpret the feelings of the heart, not the other way around. And the more that you can really tap into your heart, the more you will find answers to not only money and not only business, but everything else, relationships, life, your direction, your purpose, all of that stems from here. So what I'd love to hear from you is, when is the last time that you touched your own heart, felt into your own heart and what came out of it? And if you haven't done it yet, let me know in the comments if you plan to. All right, I will be here again next week. I am so excited that we are all together in this container. If you found this helpful, please do like uh, this video. It helps so much with getting this out there to the world. And if you have not yet subscribed, consider doing so if this is the type of conversation you wanna be having. We're breaking down the taboo of not talking about money and making it a coffee table conversation where it should be because once we truly face it and understand it, it's no longer something to fear. All right, my friends, much love to you all. Uh, if you are watching this soon, make sure to sign up for our masterclass. If it's after the March, uh, you know, at the end of March, then uh, sign up for our wait list and for our next uh, beautiful masterclass where we deep dive into the five key strategies of profitability and sustainability. And it is epic. Okay. All right, everyone. Until next time. Much love to you. Bye.